Coronides comets, the twin comets. They were once water nymphs. The story goes like this. Once upon a time, there was a plague, and this plague was like the coronavirus. And in order to dispel the plague and to release everyone from death, there had to be two willing sacrifices to the gods. These two sisters chose to sacrifice themselves. One was named Metioche and Menipe. They were virgins and they killed themselves as a sacrifice for a coronavirus. And that is why the corona, the coron, coronides comet was named. When the two girls killed themselves, um, the gods felt sorry for them and turned them into comets. What's so strange is I told you about a story about how I went out on a tree and slept under the tree and some deer woke me up and I looked up in the sky and there was a comet. Right after I saw this comet, the corona epidemic uh, began. So there's some correlation to comets and corona and the corona borealis and something having to do with Cygnus, sickness and Cygnus, the stars. Your higher self speaks in codes and you have so many codes. So there are many codes that came about in both of your pieces and we're just going to go through them one by one. In Gematria, there's a mathematical code for every word, for every number. And if you look into it, you can find a parallel that matches symbology or what's going on in your life or world. You had the number 136. This is in Gematria, alien God. E equals MC 22 is Bible, Eagle, and Beam. EMC 22 with Nuit is the end is near, the book of Enoch, the matrix, God, a dragon, Anunnaki, Starbase, Twins, Awakening, Nibiru, Get Ready, and Yahawah. The word Ava over your neck reflects luminous being, and the sky is falling. Bumblebee is a parallel of the name Yahawah again, so you have that name twice. And so the bumblebee reflects a red dragon. You have a dragon in your piece. Nephilim again. Reset. Satanic and honey. Now, on your crown, you have the number 7502. This is where it gets pretty interesting. In Gematria, 7502 equals this. Glow, beautiful. Love, bright. Beautiful, find your inner shine and let that love pour from your soul. The third angel blew his trumpet, and a great star, burning like a lamp, like a comet, fell from heaven, and it fell on a third of the rivers and on the springs of waters. See beauty conquer the dark and the numbers of the matrix. You are fighting for power and a hollow deck program instead of fighting to be saved from the box. Satan will be freed from his prison eight. He will go out to deceive Gog and Magog, the nations in the four corners of the earth, and gather them for war. All of humanity, all ethnic backgrounds joining together with joy, peace, and happiness to defeat the illegal and immoral Rothschild Federal Reserve. Amen. This is also, if you push pause, a read about who the um, Coronides Comet twins were. Please look up the number 7502 in Gematria. There's a lot more to be said with that number. Now, as we look at your original piece, we see someone with a virus spewing onto someone who has a mask over their face like a beekeeper's outfit at uh, five o'clock. And so this has a lot to do with who you were um, a long time ago and somehow history repeating itself. The bumblebee reflects being stung by outside forces. The two twins that are covering their faces with their hands are the two girls who killed themselves. They are the two comets. That's why their heads actually look like comets instead of faces. The dragon at uh, 11 o'clock has something to do with everything that's happening in the world. This dragon is 
fire. It is an awakening. It is helping us to transform. It is also helping us to move um, people where they need to go. Some people are going to fall back. Some people are going to fall forward. This fire will either hurt people or transform them. This fire is everywhere around you because you're the comet, you're the fire. So we have the volcano at three o'clock and the two mirror female symbols on it. And this fire is putting out um, uh, smoke, a hallucinogenic, a hallucinogenic smoke. You know, they say that the smoke of a, of a volcano can give you hallucinations and people prophesy next to volcanoes because of its effects. This is why Moses went to Mount Sinai, which was supposedly a volcano, and Yahweh is a volcano god known as Volcanus. Nuit seems to be a body of refuge. There are people who are bodies of refuge. Nuit says, come unto me, I will keep you from certain realms and certain realities, but you seem to be a body of refuge as well. I had a dream about you, and spirit showed me what was happening with you and why you have all these spirits between one o'clock and five o'clock living within your body. On the spirit realm, there, there was a pool. It was your pool. A pool is your spirit, your energy. Thousands of people were trying to get into your pool because it was hot outside, like a plague or a virus. There was a blind man taking money. You had to be worthy to come into your energy but the man was receiving strings and dirt instead of money. So people who were not worthy were going into your pool. This pushed you out of your own pool. You were pushed out of your own spirit. You were sitting on the side of the pool and so many people came into your spirit space that a tidal wave pushed the water out of the pool and this water fell on you and almost killed you. This is a description of... Um, you somehow unbeknownst to you are allowing energies within your life and in within your soul that is pushing you out of who you are. And it's almost like becoming a member of a church, but not actually vibing with those people and somehow giving your power over to them and allowing them to come inside your head and your heart. And they're really not in divine order. They're really not meant to be. And it's a sin to allow anyone in your space who isn't supposed to be there because it's against divine order. So you're being asked to go to, through a time of your life of forgiveness, letting go and burning and closing the door in everyone's faces who are not meant to be in divine order because otherwise this fire is going to hurt you instead of transform you because you have to be transformed through this fire in order to make it to a higher realm. And these people... They are taking your life force. It'll eventually kill you. You have to go through a forgiveness ceremony. There's a, I've made many videos about collecting personal power, and I actually made a video exactly about this and exactly about you um, on TikTok, so make sure you go watch that. Notice the letter M at 12 o'clock. This reflects one of your names. You were either Mishioshi or Minipe, one of the twin sisters, the twin comets. The flying beings are reflective of things flying in the sky, flying in the air, something in the air. The burning of the papers at seven o'clock is you burning who you are, burning the mirror of who you think you are, burning how other people see you by going away from people. You know, Jesus went away from everyone for a while. When he came back, he was very powerful. He wasn't the same. Like Gandalf the gray went away and he came back and he was Gandalf the white. You must go away, become powerful, become more than human, go from manhood to godhood through this fire. Because you are a refuge like Nuit, your godhood, you have to which is be very selective lizard. about who you allow in your energy space. Notice how you were a water nymph and then you transformed into fire and notice how the prediction of the springs burning was in the 7502 number. Now back to your divinity piece. Notice at 11 o'clock there's two birds. They are separated like a broken heart. This is a divide. There are going to be people who fall behind and those who transform and go to a better world. You are feeding a cow water. This is a new earth. 
There is uh, people who are coming into your body that are worthy to be there and there's not very many people there. So they're not taking your life force, they're actually giving you life. There is a dragon and this dragon and the dragon eye is about going through the eye of the needle, becoming nothing and then becoming everything. Now there is a percent symbol. Notice also you have M Y M like nymph at the top with the M being accented. This is you being a nymph and you were one of the letter M sisters. The percent symbol reflects a divide. There's one world on one side, one world on the other side. It is also indicative of twins being embryos being born. So like an embryo splitting in half, twins, um, the earth is splitting in half. This is why you have a cow and water and a new earth going through the eye of the needle to a new earth, a new place. The letters HH at nine o'clock reflect a higher realm and a lower realm. There are those who will maintain memory in heaven and those who will go back to memory loss and ignorance in hell.